more wall in the How's it going, YouTube? Semi Revolution here, and today I'm finally gonna put out this wall video that I've been promising for so long. Um, so we're just gonna jump straight into it. This is gonna be a pretty short video, but I really wanted to do this. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Um, this isn't okay. So disclaimer: this isn't a strategy that you can like go out of the gates thinking that you're gonna do. This is more of a strategy that applies to situations that you can use in certain situations and can be really effective. So don't like go into a game and be like, yeah, I'm gonna use this. But if you're in a match and you find a good situation for it, then totally use it. Um, but I found it most effective with the Abyss guns. That's what all my clips are gonna be. I think it would also be very good with the um, longbows. Um, both those units have long range. Um, the Abyss are literally good versus everything except Cav. Um, so if artillery comes up, they're pretty decent against them. And the longbows would possibly do that as well. But in general, you can use this with any units, any ranged units. Um, and, like, it's pretty effective. The first time I encountered this, I was doing a treaty match. And I just, I was like, I totally could use this in, like, the regular games. Um, so essentially what it is, as you can see there, um, I'm going to have a bunch of different gameplay clips. But essentially, um, let me turn my volume down here. Okay, essentially what it is, is you build a little box and or singular walls, and you use your Abyss or ranged units behind them. Now, I know this is going to sound really weird, because, like, obviously you just build a wall, but this is different in that you actually use the walls to disrupt pathways that the opponent, like, their units have, and... Um, obviously protect the Abyss from cav attacks. Now you're going to see multiple clips here. This game is going to be the best representation of it. When he sends in his cav, I just retreat into my fort of walls, and his cav can't do anything. There's one clip here where I have a singular line of walls, and the cav has to go around it, and because of that, I can get shots off at him. Like right here, it's going to come up here soon. Um, but because the units have to go around, you can take shots at him um, and not have to worry about anything. Now, obviously, if they get mortars or something, you're going to have to take those out. Um, but I didn't have any issues with that um, from the examples I have here. Um, but Abyss are amazing. This would be so good with them. I've done it multiple times. And this game is the best representation of it. I'm going to put this game up later by itself. I don't know if I have commentary with it. I haven't checked because I've not looked at this in so long. I've just had these clips sitting around and I need to do this. But generally, that is it. Like, that is the premises of it. Just get some uh, walls built around and then um, use your obvious to the best of the ability and you don't really need, need to make anti-cav and this is going to be a really good example right here so he's got two cannons he's attacking my um, outpost I had a coin mine to the left of that so I'm going to bring my obvious up and start picking off his longbows he's going to send cav around boom that cav's gone like some of these cav are just accidentally coming in into contact with me and engaging so those are knocked out like they're all like they're singularly have to go around the walls like that and they're just getting destroyed he doesn't know what to do so i see his cannons are vulnerable i'm gonna move up obviously are amazing at taking out our other artillery boom one cannon's down and he comes in with a rush of them I'm just gonna retreat back into the walls and hit and run basically um i'm gonna lose obviously i'm gonna lose some obvious but not too bad. Gotta get some more hits while they retreat. Um, and then, like, he just doesn't really know what to do, and then we just keep hitting hits on him. Um, I have my bow cab just sitting in the back there, not even worried about it. But we get his other cannon, and bam, he is done for. Um, so that's how simple it can be, and it's really, really effective. I think this could work with, like, um, obviously, like, other artillery and stuff, too. Uh, but obviously, are the best because of the long range. So, long range units for sure. Um, I think longbows are like Yumi would be pretty good with this as well. And I know this, I'm going to get so much hate for this, like, I don't care, this is pretty effective. Like, I'm not going to use this every match, but it, in certain situations I think this could be very useful. Um, so I thought about, like, sharing it with you guys, because it was really effective for me in tree matches. And why it is, is if you can kind of see here, I just built up my walls, like, a few feet at a time. Um, and like, and you see it here too. Just building up a little bit at a time buys you more room on the map. Because sometimes you get locked in really, really tight stalemates. And buying these little inches obviously like helps big time. And it helps condense the opponent into his area. Um, and what it can really do is just frustrate him. Because if you got really solid defense and they're not gaining any ground, um, it's really frustrating to play against. And like, I know it's not the most viable strategy, but some games where you need a victory or you need something to break the stalemate. 
um, this could definitely do it. So I would recommend this in treaties for sure, like uh, building a little bit forward every time you get more land. And um, I think it's pretty effective in supremacy matches too. Um, just don't go out of the box thinking that you're going to do this. Just apply it to certain situations and you'll be very, very effective. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to post these videos of the gameplays I have. Um, this one particularly was probably one of my worst matches of all time. This one I actually tried to do it out of the gate and it was terrible. Um, so I don't know, it's a good example of how not to do it is this one. But the other game is a great example of how to do it, the one on um, the Florida map. But yeah, that's all I got guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your thoughts are below and I will see you guys later.